What's up guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take existing artwork and prepare it for laser cutting so you can make your own stencils. I get questions all the time asking how I do stencil work and how I design stuff for laser cutting, especially after a recent post on Instagram where I made more of these boomer stencils which were originally a part of a sticker design and some packaging design I did for a blind bag for Five Points Fest last year. What I did was laser cut the header cards and use an all black bag to hide the one-off figures. I gave all these away to my followers and subscribers that found me at Five Points Fest. It was a really fun scavenger hunt. It was really cool to meet some of my followers for the first time. Unfortunately, this year, I don't know if I will be able to make it at Five Points Fest. It's a huge bummer, I know, but my contract is ending at the end of the month and I don't have anything else lined up yet. So I figured I would just show you how to do this so you can make your own stencils. It's super easy and fun. I currently have access to a laser cutter through my current contract, but if you don't have access to a laser cutter, don't worry. There are plenty of online services that offer laser cutting. There are a lot of places that have laser cutters available to the public, like maker spaces that you might be able to find in your city. Let's get into it. This artwork was really easy to convert into a stencil because it was just line work. Going around the art, you can see how easy it was to turn this line drawing into simple shapes that could be easily laser cut or cut out by hand. To do this, we're going to be using Adobe Illustrator CC. So for those of you who are not familiar with Adobe Illustrator, Adobe Illustrator is a vector-based software which allows you to create vector-based artwork and images. Using some of the tools inside Adobe Illustrator, such as the pen tool, the line tool, and the curvature tool, I was able to create this artwork. Artwork. I traced a drawing I had made of this art and then converted those lines in the Illustrator to paths. After I have gone and traced the artwork, what I do is actually use the eraser tool, the width tool, and the stroke panel to determine how the lines are going to look. So once you're happy with how your artwork looks, you're going to select it, hit Command C or edit copy. You're going to go to File New create a new document. Now the size of the laser that I have access to has a bed that is 32 by 18 inches. So what we're going to do is make our new artboard the same exact size. Also the laser cutter we're going to use cuts on RGB color spectrum. So we will select RGB under color mode and hit create. Now we'll paste our artwork onto the artboard. Now that we have our artwork on the new document, we're going to select everything, go to our color picker and turn it to pure RGB red. To do that, we enter 255 under red and zero out green and blue. We need to turn these fills into strokes so the laser knows where to cut. Next, we go back up to our stroke panel and adjust our line weight down to 0.001. Now that we have our cutting color for this laser, we need to turn these fills into strokes so the laser knows where to cut. Next, we'll go up to our stroke panel options window adjust the line weight down to 0.001. Now that we have the artwork ready, we create a rectangle around the art to frame it for cutting. Once you're happy with the look of your final artwork, we can adjust the scale to best fit the laser cutting bed. Now all that's left is to send the art off to the laser for cutting. So that's gonna do it for this video on how to create custom laser cut stencils. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, suggestions, or comments, leave them in the comment section. I always respond. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what you learned today. You can see more of what I'm working on on my other social media at Wolf Pits. I will leave links below in the description. Thanks for watching. Wolf Pits out.